Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kellen Harve, and as you can tell, I've got a slightly different setup today. We're trying something different. I don't know how I feel. I've got light coming from every direction because we're in the conservatory, but I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below if you prefer this or if you prefer if you prefer my other setup. As you guys have probably noticed, I haven't posted for I think three, maybe four weeks here. It's just been super crazy. I've been so crazy filming videos for TikTok. I've just not been in a routine lately, but I will be back. Um, I'm gonna try and upload again next week, but it might be two weeks, but I really hope it's next week. But if you guys want updates, because I don't really post anything on here, like I'm not posting right now, I'll keep you updated over on my Instagram. The link will be down in the description box below, or you can just check out Kelly and things on Instagram so yeah I'm so sorry for not posting but in today's video as you can probably tell from the title I intended on doing something very different um, you'll see that um, in the start of the video so my intention for this video was like painting a collage on a canvas featuring my like popular rock designs but as you will see in the process I just wasn't happy with it so instead for today's video I decided to do mini canvases and again Again, my intention was to do my famous rock designs on the mini canvases, but it changed. But you'll see that in the process anyway. So let's just get straight into the video. So first things first, I started by gathering some canvases. I actually picked these up in Home Bargain, so they're not very expensive, but I only got cheap ones because I'd not worked on canvas in a while. So this is the first painting that I worked on that I ended up not being very happy with, but I thought I'd show you the footage anyway because I spent like three hours working on it. So yeah, here's me sketching out my template. So this was gonna be like a collage of all my popular rock designs. And I really like had a good idea for this, but I ended up realizing that the paints that I use and the colors that I use in my rocks are very similar. So it didn't vary very much and they're all very vibrant and I just wasn't vibing with it So yeah, as you can see, I'm just sketching out my designs here This took quite a while, but not too long. Once I finished sketching out my designs I grabbed my paint palette and paints These are the system 3 acrylic paints that I use all the time and I use Posca pens for this too So I'm just gonna quickly show you some footage of me painting once again Because this isn't the final product that you're gonna see at the end of the video But I thought I'd show you it anyway. This is the kind of process I went through I used Posca pens and paints just to fill in like the designs. I didn't work in any particular order I just painted whatever I fancied. This is literally me all over. For some reason I find it really difficult to just work on one painting. So for example in this collage I couldn't just work on the avocado. I'd then switch over to do the heart and then I'd return to the avocado later to finish it up. So anyway you can see me going through this process of just painting a bunch of different things in no particular order but it's coming together. But I'm just not liking it very much. Like you can see that I'm not really finishing it up. As you can see in this clip here I'm just adding some extra things freehand because I just wasn't liking the spaces. The final thing that I added was this rainbow I didn't actually finish it up I was just marking it out and then this is at the point where I'm like oh I don't know I don't like it so I ended up scrapping the idea but if you guys want to see me do this I'll work or change it or something somehow in another part just let me know so on to the final product that was a success so here I'm just opening the four mini canvases out of the packaging once again these were super cheap this footage was actually filmed a week or maybe two weeks later than the previous clips that you saw of the big canvas because as I need a break from big canvases but my idea for these four canvases is to paint fruit on them but like an one fruit on each one but in like a cute cartoony my style anyway let's get started so I began by gathering my paint palette and I mixed a light green for the first small canvas this was for the background of the first one and the drawing that we're gonna do on it is a pear so for the four canvases I wanted them to work together so you could mount them up and they'd look like a set so each small canvas is gonna have a pastel background and for this one as you can see I did a pastel green I wasn't sure how I felt about this green background so later I think I change it but as you can see I did a pastel pink for the next one and then I did a pastel blue and then finally I did a pastel yellow funnily enough I didn't actually use only acrylic paint for these canvas backgrounds so for the blue and the yellow and the pink I actually mixed Posca pen with white acrylic but here's footage of me just arranging the the what are they called? Canvases! <laughs> I was arranging them in a format that I'd like to see them up on the wall, but as you can see, they kind of work in any order, but I kind of like the idea of them being pink, yellow, green, blue, but that's just me. But as you can see, I'm painting the background again of the blue one, because I just didn't really like the blue that I chose, and I did the same for the green, but I actually lightened up the green one, but I do lots of changes throughout this video. I am being very picky. But as you can see, I'm using a hairdryer then to dry each canvas in... in, in ah, I can't talk! But yeah, my pro 
tip is have a hairdryer nearby because it just speeds up the whole process when you can dry each layer. But then I sketched out my design on the blue one. My original idea wasn't fruit, as you can see. So I started painting a jelly bean and then I hated it. So I just used the blue to change the background, if that makes sense. Once again, I really liked this jelly bean. So I did it in purple, but then I hated it again. So I painted over this canvas in a light blue and then I moved on to another one and I was going to return to blue. So I then moved on to do my yellow canvas instead. So I started by sketching my design, which was a lemon. And then I reached for my yellow Posca pen and I started filling it out straight with the pen. Sometimes I pump the ink out and use a paintbrush, but I went in with the pen today. It did take a few layers and it went a bit crusty. But anyway, I then moved on to do my pink canvas and I did a strawberry on that one. Then I sketched out a design of a blueberry on the blue one. And then finally I did a pear on the green one. Once I'd finished sketching my designs, I reached for my red Posca pen and I started filling out the strawberry once again, straight with the nib. I think later I use a paintbrush, but for now I'm just using the pen itself. I then moved on to do the blueberry. I mixed a darker blue. I really like this blue against that blue background for this one. I then did the pear. I really didn't like this green, but I was just going with it for now. I think in a moment I do a different color over top. Yes, yeah, straight away. I go in with a different pastel color, but then I decide I didn't like that one either. So I used my Posca pen once again. This is a really vibrant green. Normally I do this pear with a pastel green, but this is what we stuck with. I then went ahead and added details like a stalk on the pear, a little dark blue top on the blueberry. You can't really see it in this footage, but yeah. And then I added the green on top of the strawberry. I also added a leaf to the lemon and I think the pear, but I didn't film this bit. And then finally it was time to add the outline. Um, I say finally, but I've got to do faces too. And as you can tell, this took a little while. And when I did the pear, my ink sprayed everywhere. This is my Posca pen's fault too. They've just got a tendency of doing that. I then did the outline on the strawberry too, but I just didn't like it. So I painted over it. I'm so sorry. This is probably so painful to watch, but I just redid it. It didn't take me very long. I sketched out a new strawberry shape. It's kind of different to the other one, just a little bit cuter. I filled it out. I changed the color of the, like, the green on the top. And the next step was to do the borders of the canvases. I decided to do the edges a slightly lighter shade than the background. I wanted to do a completely different color, but I just wasn't brave in the end. So I stuck to the color that was in the background, but just like a different shade, lighter, darker. And then they were done. I love them. I really love them. I say done. I've got to do the faces. I keep saying that. So the final step was to add the faces. This is what I'm doing here. I'm just using my Posca pen and I'm adding little like expressions on the lemon. This expression I actually ended up scrapping. I wasn't very happy with it, but I moved on to the pear and I just added little eyes. I was going to do like smiley faces and stuff, but again, I decided not to because I kind of like them just with eyes. I did like little smirky eyes for the blueberry. Ah! so cute. I also did the same eyes that I did on the pear on the strawberry but then just to finish up the strawberry I added some little yellow seeds and then here they are completely finished. I'm so happy with them. As you can see the borders are a little bit more obvious now so here's the borders as well as the completed designs. Let me know which one's your favorite. I think mine's the blueberry. I just love how cute and simple it is. I was gonna add a gloss to these but I've had experience with this gloss in the past where it smears Posca pens so I decided not to. I think I'm gonna have to get some resin but here they are as a complete did set. I love them. This is kind of the way that I'd like to put them up on my wall, but I love them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. So as you can see, as you've seen now, this was the failed painting. I still don't hate it. It's got potential. I just don't really like the colors that I chose. I'm not sure. It's definitely got potential. And if you guys want to see me finish this or do something else with this, let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas for what I can do with this too, how I can change it up. If you like it as it is, let me know too. But yeah, just give me any ideas for what I can do with this down in the comments below too. But the final paintings were these four teeny fruits. I love them. I'm not sure how I feel about painting on canvas in general after this experience. I always used to paint on canvas, but I'm so used to painting on miscellaneous these days. I paint on rocks, I paint on windows, I paint on everything but just canvas and paper. So I do really like this result. These aren't like top quality canvases. I think I paid like £10 for 20 of them or something. So they're just little canvases, but I really like what I did with them. As you saw in the video, I chose a light a shade of the same color for each painting for the border and then I stuck to little tiny faces I was gonna do a variety of expressions but I changed my mind halfway through so we've got two with like plain eyes and then the other ones are like sleepy and happy <laughs> but I'm really happy with them they're not perfect my outlining especially on the lemon isn't amazing I still really like it it's so cute my favorite has to be the blueberry I just love the colors I didn't intend on having the background the same color as the fruit but as I went through the process 
that's just kind of what I went with. But I think these could be super cute, like up on a wall as like four together. That was my intention anyway. So anyway, these are gonna be up on my Depop for sale shortly. So if you guys are interested in buying these, they'll be listed on my Depop. So that link will be down in the description if you wanna buy one. But let me know in the comments below which fruit is your favorite. I think mine is the blueberry but I love them all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, it was another type of like painting video because you guys seem to really enjoy those. So if you want to see another painting video in the future, let me know down in the comments below if you have any ideas for what you'd like to see me paint or whatever. But if you want to see something completely different, also let me know down in the comments below. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and also click that post notification bell if you haven't already because I'd love to see you again in the future. Make sure to check out my other social media too. You can check out my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter and even my TikTok where I post almost twice a day at the moment we're doing a keyboard series at the moment but i think it's going to transition into a rock series shortly but i don't know bear with me but those links will be down in the description below you can also check out my depot where these will be up for sale along with some rocks but once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next week bye